Have you ever had a wine to where after you took a sip, you're just, mmm, that's so good? Well, I hope this is it because this is Dave Harvey's GS, mmm. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing the 2018 Dave Harvey GS, mmm. And that's right, there is a mmm in that name. It is 14.8% alcohol by volume, and it normally goes for $35 a bottle, but on nakedwines.com, if you're an angel, you can get it for 15. So let's take a look at this wine. Oh, it's from Walla Walla, Washington as well. In case that matters to you or not. All right, so from a color standpoint, purple. Pur purple. And on top of that, you are a medium purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so from a nose standpoint, I'm getting, it's very bready. Like I, I'm getting a lot of like a bread note to it. I'm getting a little bit of a black cherry, plum, touch of black pepper, a lot of fruit. There's also like a sweet baking spice, but I'm having a hard time putting my, my finger on it. I'm having a hard time. I may not be able to get it, but I, it, there's definitely a little bit of a spice in this note. A touch of vanilla. There's also, like I said, there's that, that, that general kind of breadiness and kind of a, a hint of like cottage cheese, just like a small hint of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, very fruit dominant though, a very fruit dominant wine. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this from, well, from the palate. So, man, lots of black fruit. Lots of strong black fruit. I'm actually getting a little bit of a blackberry note to it. Um, I didn't get that on the nose, but I'm definitely getting it on the palate. So I'm getting blackberry, plum, black cherry. Uh, there's also a nice note of um, that earth that I had mentioned. It comes out more on the palate than it does on the nose, as well as some like, like almost like a, a hint of like coffee, just a hint of coffee. Pepper is there, the black pepper is there. But the thing that I'm noticing and I'm really liking is there's like a note of black tea. Yeah, there's this like black tea note going on. Um, overall, everything is pretty medium. I would say medium body, medium plus tannins, medium plus acid, medium finish. So, uh, well, I'm kind of almost getting into the, the whole evaluation criteria. So let's just get to it at this point. So from balance. You're in balance. Everything's pretty much medium minus to medium, somewhere around there. Except the alcohol is high, but it's not screaming at me. It's 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 noticeably high, but it doesn't feel like it's out of whack because there's such a big fruit bomb effect going on that I feel like everything still is in balance. So gonna give you a full point there. For length, you have half a point. You have medium finish. Intensity, I'm gonna give you half a point. The black fruit is really intense. Some of that other stuff is not as intense, and I would like it to be that way. So what I'm wondering is, because this is a 2018, if you let it age for a while, just lay it down, treat it right, maybe at that point it'll develop enough to where some of that other intensity on the secondary and tertiary really kind of to shine as the primary fruit mel is out a little bit. So half a point there. And from complexity, half a point, very much a big primary fruit bomb right now, but not really much of those secondaries. So overall, that gives you two and a half points. I'm gonna give you a good. This is a good wine. If you buy it now, you won't be disappointed with it. And then if you let it kind of age a little bit and develop some more, you'll, you'll probably have even more fun with it. So a $15 GSM might not be that bad of a deal. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Dave Harvey GSM from NakedWines.com? I'd be interested to know if you have. And if you're not an angel yet, or you haven't tried any of the Naked Wines wine, then look in my video description below. I have an affiliate link in which you can get a pretty substantial discount. I make no money from it, but you get to save some money. So take advantage of it. And I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.